Good evening from Hamburg, Germany, and welcome back to the Daily Photography Vlogs here on the channel. We are on a bridge, and we've come down to this uh, interesting part of the city to try and photograph that building right there. And I'm thinking it could look cool in black and white. All starts right now. Let's go. All right, so this is the Der Spiegel building, which is, I believe, a political satire magazine uh, here in Germany. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below. That's a beautiful location for this incredible glass structure. And uh, we're on a bridge because it happens to be a nice composition on this river that sort of breaks and then Der Spiegel is right in the middle. And I have actually been here before because the Hauptbahnhof, the main uh, train station of Hamburg, is just a five minute walk in that direction. So it was actually Josh who showed me this location first and it is is an awesome photo so it is a, definitely a wide angle composition so only brought the 16 to 35 on the Canon EOS R here and I'm here at sunset because I want to try and get the golden hour and a bit of a long exposure to kind of flatten out the water so I got the Benro uh, filter kit on the front there 10 stop and the point uh, nine stop soft grad uh, so hopefully we'll get something good because the light is fantastic right now it all depends on if there's a train coming because the trains go across the top of this bridge and then obviously cars and stuff and the bridge is not as stable as you might think but I'm gonna hang out here till blue hour so hopefully we'll get a couple of nice images Oh my goodness, this light is incredible. I just got a couple of banger, banger images. So good. It is uh, kind of funny, actually, that I wanted to make this video about the difference between black and white or color uh, in landscapes and maybe even city architecture stuff because I have shot this before, as I said earlier, and it was a black and white image and I really liked it. So I was thinking, you know what? I could come right back here, shoot black and white versus color, let you be the judge. But with light like that, like, come on, shooting that black and white would be a travel. I should actually show you in the video the difference between this uh, image both in black and white and in color and you be the judge let me know in the comments below but uh, with light like this got to take full advantage what a fantastic image Can't just do all long exposure. I just popped off a couple shots here at F11 with just a third of a second with only the one filter on the front to kind of dampen out the sky. And I think I got just the last little bit of the light to kind of uh, make those clouds stay still. And it's still a fantastic image. So as much as I'm all about, uh, you know, getting a sweet long exposure, especially with the water in the foreground, I'm still really happy with those uh, kind of quick sort of snapshot style of this sunset to get something a little bit different because it is just the one composition on the building and it's a bit static and to sit around here for this long and sort of on that same composition can get a bit boring so I hope I'm, I'm keeping it entertaining for you and uh, now I wait for the lights and then we're going to talk a little bit more about the end of February and what's dropping tomorrow on March 1st. All 
right, it's starting to get dark here. We're getting into blue hour, which means let's talk real quick about February 28th because today is the last day of the month, which means tomorrow is March 1st. Now, March 1st, I send out two exclusive videos to the people who are signed up to two different newsletters. And the first one are the members of this channel. There's over 40 people who have signed up to join and become members, which is a huge support for me financially. It means you're supporting me a coffee once a month. And there's three different options, either like a small black, a medium cappuccino, or latte or four quadruple espressos, which is awesome. I know who you are. I see the little badges beside your name when you comment. So thank you for that kind support and your exclusive video will be dropping tomorrow. So look for that notification when you get it. The other way is the Snell Media newsletter. That's got over 1500 people signed up to it, which is really cool. And I try and update my newsletter subscribers at least once a month, also with an exclusive video that goes into like different details. For the members, I like to give kind of a more behind the scenes. And I know a lot of the members too. I know them personally, many of them. So that one's a little bit more intimate per se. And then the newsletter uh, is more of like updates and what's happening and stuff too. So uh, those are two different ways that you can connect with me directly, which is a huge support and really uh, something that means a lot to me. So I hope to see your name on either of those two lists and you can uh, sign up by clicking either of the links in the description below. So while I wait for this six minute exposure, let's talk real quick about black and white photography in both landscapes and architecture. Personally, I'm a pretty big fan of it, especially in mountains. I found myself like drawn towards really interesting big landscapes, like big scenes in mountain environments in black and white. I think it really accentuates the contours of like the cliff faces and uh, really brings out the, uh, the rock, which is really cool. And I've seen a couple of really, really good black and white landscapes, but they're not that comments. So I want to know your thoughts uh, in the comments below what your take is on black and white. So for this case, like for the Der Spiegel building, we're now in sort of the heart of blue hour and the lights are on. Looks incredible. I'm still getting really, really good cloud movement. And I think now it could look cool in black and white. So the beauty of post-processing in both Lightroom and in Photoshop, we can just like hit the black and white and, uh, and get rid of all that color and that saturation. You can also obviously shoot monochrome in the camera, uh, which I do do sometimes as well but I think for this case like this evening the light was just so good that it is way way better to have these images with their natural colors and light uh, than it would be to shoot this in black and white but I want to know your opinion in the comments below so I'm looking forward to seeing uh, your thoughts there but it is starting to get very dark here and late so I hope that you enjoy these final images and remember to click on those links below if you're looking for the exclusive video update tomorrow on March 1st so as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow